So let me tell you about the place that I just moved out of. It was normally a three bedroom house. They converted it to a six bedroom house, uh, getting rid of the living room and the dining room. Um, maybe there was a rec room at some point too, besides the living room, and that's how they did it, whatever. Um, and some of the rooms, like with my room and the, and the one next to me, you have the floorboards, right? Some of the times the wall was in the middle of where those are. So if something goes on down here, it goes up here. So that's what happens with some of the boards. So if someone drops something, it makes your, the, the floorboard on your side go, eh, you know. Um, and, and I don't mean to extremes either. This isn't some shanty or anything. It's not, it's not quite to that level, but... Uh, um, but uh, Boyd would sometimes uh, he, he would rearrange his apartment every other day it seems constantly move and so you know whenever he's moving any of the furniture of course it's just there's well there's definitely no sleeping when, when he's doing that but I don't want to harp about him because I, I like him I, I'll probably uh, hang out with him uh, once in a while uh even when I, I moved out of there. He's, he's a good guy. Um, and there's Retha there. Retha, she, she's in her 60s. And she likes to drink. She's, a, she's another, she's a good person. She is. But, uh, oh, she likes to drink. And when she drinks and she starts to rant about something, it's, it's time to go. <laughs> And usually when she rants about something, it's her thinking that someone did something at the house. And so she'll just, like, I mean, one time it was something like, uh, oh, who moved the kitchen chair? Oh, no, someone moved the kitchen chair an inch or something. Oh, that's my chair. Well, no, it's, that's, that's, that you, that's, you didn't bring that chair there. It's just the one that you tend to sit in a lot. You know, I didn't, I never was confrontational about any of that but it's just it's oh yeah that's, that's another weird thing there too with uh, uh most of the things that are in the kitchen um are are sort of public domain dishes sort of you know with silverware and dishes but then the scrubbers and the the sponges and things like that are supposed to be uh, you know, each person puts their own up there, and they use their own. So I got, I got, you know, told about this, and sort of almost scolded about it uh, for probably ten minutes when I, you know, and when I first got there. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get my own uh, sponge. So I got a diff one that's a different color, so people won't mix it up with theirs. And uh, suddenly, everyone's using mine. And I'm like. All right, same with the dish soap, you know, oh, they're supposed to use their own. Well, I got one that was a little bit bigger, and, well, everyone's using mine. Oh, okay. A um, few things went missing. I would get, I would uh, just go to the store to, to pick up something, uh, set it on the table, and then go upstairs for a moment, come back down, and it's gone. You know, scissors disappeared. Knives disappeared. Um kind of weird um they weren't expensive so it's not it's not really a big deal but um but let's let's go back to Retha let's go back to Retha she she would drink so much she would go on go off on someone for 20 30 minutes if if they didn't find some way to leave um one time she drank so much that she almost died. She stopped breathing. And uh, someone else and I were trying to, to hold her up and trying to do what we can to get her to breathe again. Come on, come on, snap out of it. Don't be passing out. No. And we thought we were going to, we really thought we were going to have to call 911, but she, she got out of it. And, uh, but man, the people that smoke there, 
And this, this is one of those things that's just, it's, it's, it gets on my nerves, some of the, the mindset behind a lot of smokers out there. Yeah, they just have no fucking clue how much that shit stinks. You know, they'll, they'll, they know they're supposed to, they're, they're, technically they're not even really supposed to smoke in their rooms, but they're not supposed to, definitely not supposed to smoke in the common areas, right? And they'll, they'll light a cigarette in their room, walk through the whole house with this cigarette, and I'm thinking to myself, do you really think that that, that's, you're not supposed to smoke in the common areas, what are you doing? But, something with a lot of smokers, I don't know what it is, they just, they're so fucking clueless about it. And so the place reeks of cigarettes and cigars all the time. Um, there's a guy in the front. He, oh man, his cigars were just foul. And he would just smoke in his room with his door open. All right. <laughs> so... Then there's one person there that, man, it made me just think about looking off to my right and looking at the vent. This, this, there's another person there. She would wear so much perfume that perfume comes up through the vent. Because her, in, in the, 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 the bottom floor, the vents are on the, on the, in the ceiling. Anyway. Uh, yeah, perfume coming into my room. There's no, there almost with almost no way to get rid of it. You have to block. I had I'd block the vent, open the window, put a fan in the window. You know. Then the same thing would occasionally happen with the cigarettes. The cigarette smell would come. It would just come right right on through that uh, through that vent because they had uh, central heating. And uh, let me tell you. Um, I'm glad to be out of there. I'm really glad to be out of there. <laughs> and there's, a, there's one other person there. She's she's different. I'll just say she's different. There's there's nothing. There's I, I won't say anything bad about her, but she's different. And you know, when I when I was talking about how there's there's no high speed internet available, I have the AT and T. And and it and I don't understand what you're complaining about. And she she all she does is look at, lo, she looks at, at news. She'll look at some low quality videos uh, on her tablet. So it's probably viewing them at 144p with uh, with with AT and T's their their uh, DSL. Um. And she you know bitching at me for for a while about how. Uh, 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 AT and T is plenty fast enough. I'm like three down and half up. No, 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 no. I, you can't even. You definitely can't stream. Um, and you can only watch. You can only watch things in you know probably 360p at 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 most, uh, with pauses. Right. I could have had better. Than when I was using the uh, this to tether. That's that's how I was getting the internet for that for that long. I was tethering to my phone. It's just whatever. If it's you know the thing I tried to tell her is just hey, if if it works for you, great. It's not fast enough for the things I need it for. So um. Now, something I was pleasantly surprised with uh, was, you know, when one guy, the guy that's on the, the, the front corner, um, the one who smokes cigars, he had said, uh, uh, he's sorry to see me go. He says that, he said I was the, uh, the most pleasant tenant they've had in there. It's like, oh, well, right on. I appreciate that. Um, but I'm glad to be out of there. Um, I will probably make a video uh, just doing a, a quick little tour of that place because I still have a few few other things to clean up there. Um, I've got some vacuuming to do and just a few other things. And uh, but I'll make a I'll make a quick video of the place and you can you can take a look at it. And 
Anyway, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>